In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Boardwalk Excel Cloud to better manage your Excel data. And that's the big distinction with the Boardwalk Excel Cloud from other applications that work with Excel. You're actually managing your data in the cloud rather than managing files. So I'm on the Boardwalk Excel Cloud page and I'm going to click on the free trial version or you can click on the free trial that's on the top of the website. And it brings you down to the download area where you can download the Excel Cloud for a 30-day free trial either for the PC or for the Mac. And you'll note that the installers are DigiCert cert secured and also Veracode verified. So this give you, gives you comfort that the application you're downloading has been tested thoroughly. And if I click on this and say download from my PC, then it goes ahead and downloads the zip file to my local machine. And then if I open up that file, I can then double click on it. And you just run this like any other application that you would install locally on your desktop. Um, and I'm going to tell it to go ahead and register and activate this inside of Excel so you're able to see it. Now you'll know it's completed when it brings you back to this page. It also shows you that this has been completed. So if I say finish this, it's now done. So if I open up Excel now, you'll notice that inside of the Excel file, and I'm going to go ahead and open up this inventory analysis file, there's now a menu that's been added called Excel Cloud. And this gives you all of the commands you need in order to interact with the Excel Cloud server for sharing and managing your data and gaining insight into the data that's being worked on across any number of Excel desktops inside your organization. The first thing you do, kind of starting from left to right, is you go through and you say, I'm going to log in and register. Um, if you've never done this before, then you click on register now and you would go in and put in your email, your first name, your last name, uh, what your company is. Um, and then for the purpose of the trial, just go ahead and select one of these departments. Um, but this is customizable and it gives you some, it'll, you'll see later on in the demo how you're able to look across your entire organization and see what people are doing inside of Excel on their desktop. So that's part of the reason for this departmental ask. But I'm going to come in and I'm just going to log in using one of my existing logins. So I'll say boardwalktech.com. And now this authenticates against the Excel cloud server and it tells me I've logged in successfully. Um, now I only have a single tab here showing a very simple inventory analysis, but you could have any number of tabs here that you want to share or that maybe you've got a pivot report or you have something else that you don't want to share. But basically you go to each tab and you say, I want to share that worksheet. And then what it does is it detects the extent of the information that's inside that worksheet and takes those cells, including all the formulas, and that information and pushes it out to Excel Cloud. So you can see here, I actually have a formula that's involved as part of this collaboration. And if I had other tabs on here, I would do exactly the same thing. And you go through this process once to say, hey, let's set this up as the information I want to share. And then you go through and you say, I want to email this workbook. And what this does is it packages up the workbook, um, puts it into an email format, in this case, I'm going to just send it to info at boardwalktech.com, but you can send this to any number of people. And by sending this to them, you're now giving them the ability to start interacting with the Boardwalk Excel cloud server and to share information back and forth. And all of the information you need in order to figure out how to do this is part of this email. So I'm going to go ahead and send that over to info and I'll go ahead and close this workbook. And then I'll go ahead and I'll go over to my email and I'll see here that here's this new email that just showed up. So if I click on this thing, I say, hey, here's the, here's the file that I want to start, you know, sharing as part of the collaboration. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And of course, this would be, you know, a user at another company that's doing this. So they would go through the same process of doing a login and a registration. Um, but you equally could come in and just say, hey, I want to be able to refresh my data. And if I refresh my data, it's going to ask you to log in. So I'm going to say I'm now info at boardwalktech.com. And then I'm going to put in my credentials. And what this does is it realizes that, oops, I must not have typed that incorrectly. Info at board, boardwalk tech tech time. And I need to type in my password. And now what it does is it, it actually looks at the Excel cloud and it says, hey, when was the last time that somebody interacted with this workbook connected to the Excel cloud? And it sees that it's no longer demo, it's info. So it goes and refreshes the most recent information, brings it back to the workbook and saves it locally in your documents folder so that it's now synchronized with, with the ledger. 
And at this point now I can go in and I can make some changes. I can say, let's say, for example, make this be, you know, 22. Uh, and maybe I'll go ahead and change this one because the price has gone down to 700. Um, and as you can see, when I did that, you know, this number changes. Um, but I'm also going to go ahead and change the structure a little bit. I'll say I'll insert something here. Um, and maybe I'll, you know, copy this. Um, and then I'll put this down here. And I'm going to say this is number 13, for example. Basically, you can do anything you want. You can add rows. Um, I can go ahead and I can insert a column. In other words, let me insert a column over here and say comments and say this uh, works fine, for example. And basically, you do everything that you normally do inside of Excel. You can save it, of course, but you can also submit it. And if you submit it, you say, here uh, are my changes. And what this does is it takes the changes that you've done for this individual worksheet or the workbook and pushes that information out to the ledger and makes this available to other users such that they can see the changes. So this completely removes the requirement of emailing workbooks back and forth between multiple users. So let me go back over now to the other user where I started and take a look at this file. So I'm going to go ahead and say close this, save it, and then I'll say let's go ahead and grab that inventory analysis one that I started with before. And now um, I'll go in and I'll say, hey, you know, I want to be able to see these changes. So now if I click on refresh, um, no longer on my info, or info, I'm back as the, the demo person. <clears throat> so when I say log in and show me my changes, it's going to go look for the changes that that user did, f fetch those from the cloud, and bring them into the local desktop. So you can see here this new row was added. <clears throat> This data value was changed, this data value was changed, and you can see that this calculation was redone. So now it shows up the correct amount based on the calculation. So all the Excel calculations and everything else work as is. And then here's the new formula that was added. <clears throat> and you get complete visibility into this because now you're managing data inside of the Excel cloud. So if I want to see what is the activity that's happened across this, and maybe I'll make another change here and say, okay, on this, and then I'll say, Let's do a submit just so we can see a little bit more. And I'll say these are my changes. This is now going to take another set of changes and append onto the digital ledger, which is the technology driving the Excel cloud, these changes. So if I now come in here and say, show me the activity log for the past week, I'll see the changes across these different users. So this is when it was originally shared. And then you can see the updates that were done with the different users. Um, then I can come in and I can say, hey, I want to see one of the cells that changed. So if I click on the cell history and I say, show this to me for the past week, you'll be able to see that, remember, the value started at 10, but then it was switched by info to 22. So all of the changes that are being done are captured as part of the ledger. And this complete history is available to every user such that you can come in and say, you know what, in addition to the cell, I want to take a look at what's happened to the entire ledger over the course of this past week or past month or any time frame. And you can see here this report's coming in and it says, well, what's been changed? Who did the updates? And you can see here that this is where we originally started. And then info went in and remember, they added rows, they added columns, they updated cells. So you can see all those changes. Um, and at any time you can come in and say, hey, I want to be able to see this as of a selected time. So I clicked on this to say grab that particular transaction, but now I want to see all the changes that were done in the ledger as of that time. And then you can see here, this is the report that was just, just basically went and recreated the update as that time. And it shows you what the old value was and the new value. Now, it's not only inside of Excel, but it's also outside because you have the ability to set up notification for updates. So in this case, it's saying, hey, anytime there's an update, you know, send this information to me to tell me something's been changed. So I can go back over and I can say, oh, well, let, you know, let's go ahead and take a look at my, my demo email. And I can see here that this collaborator was added, right? So this is where we added info as a collaborator. <laughs> and then also, here's the changes where info made a change and saved to inventory analysis sheet. So without having to 
go in and open up the, all the Excel files in order to see that something's changed, you can set up the notification to tell you that something's been updated. And then you're even able to go in and you're able to adjust, you know, who's interacting with this data. So in this case, I've got these two users working with this, both demo and info. But as the owner, I could go in and say, hey, I want to deactivate this person. Um, I want to reactivate somebody else. And all of this is available to you from inside of Excel. But in addition to inside of Excel, you're able to get access to the information that's being shared and managed across any number of desktops inside your organization using the Boardwalk Excel Cloud, using the reporting browser. So now if I go ahead and I log in here, I'm able to see in, in, across the entire usage of people that are working inside of Boardwalk Excel on their desktop, but now getting access to that information across all the desktops from the cloud. So here you can see I can select by company. So this is relevant for if you work with a bunch of suppliers, for example, or trading partners. <clears throat> Remember when we did the registration, we said, what's the company name? Then there's also the different departments. And then within all of these users, you can say, well, who are the active users? <clears throat> what company, what department, when did they register? But then you can dig into the workbooks themselves and say, hey, across all of these different organizations and departments, <clears throat> how many total Excel Cloud workbooks are being worked on? What's the total number of users? And when was the last time that anything, had, one of them had been updated, one of these workbooks? So then if I dig down a little bit further, I can go down and I can say, well, what are the workbooks that are inside of supply chain, which is where I was before? And here's that inventory analysis file that I was working on before. It has the two users. It says it's the demo user and the info user that we had. And then if I go one level lower, I can start to see information about when was it created, when was it last updated, who did it, um, how many rows, columns, cells, how many formulaires, how many inner file and intra file links. Basically, a complete visibility on a month by month basis of all the interactions for this data over time. And as we continue to evolve this capability, you'll be able to open up these worksheets themselves and take a look at them in a read only mode inside of a browser in order to get complete visibility of all the information from your desktop through the cloud and having it managed in compliance across the entire organization.